Routines Children are fond of routines in general. They like to do things in a certain way. Building on that love of routines is a great way to develop math concepts in young children. Start when the children arrive for the day. Have a board set up so that they can mark themselves as present. You could use a picture of the child with his or her name under it to build name recognition with the same activity. A cookie sheet and magnets are an inexpensive way to do this. Use a permanent marker and make a grid. Affix the children's pictures and or their names on the left and have a column marked here on the right. When the child arrives, he or she can put the magnet in its right place. Later in that morning, you can count together how many children are present and how many magnets are in that column. This establishes a chart which children will use in school and in later life and an opportunity for counting as well. In each area of the room, decide on the number of children that can best work there. Have large tags and geometric shapes and colors to indicate how many people can work there. If you want no more than three children in the building area, then for example, make three red square tags. They can be strung on yarn, so children can wear them when building. This helps reinforce the one-to-one -one correspondence concept, and it also helps to keep arguments about who can play where to a minimum. Read books about mathematics. There are many wonderful stories available at your public library that are good stories and still teach some mathematics. A great author is Marilyn Burns. Or try the books by Anne Whitehead Nogda, which use stories about real animals to learn mathematics, and any of the counting books that you can find at the library or the bookstore. Rotate these math books into your story reading. Children will learn from them and enjoy them. At snack time, have the children set the places by counting how many people are present and counting out the number of cups, plates, and napkins matching each to the chairs at the table. Then, if you're serving apples, have a child put one apple on each plate. You can do something similar for nap time. Put out pads and count the pads and count the children. It's always fun to occasionally make a mistake and see if the children can catch you having one less pad than you need. Try to count as often as possible. Count the children as they come into a room or go outside to play. Count how many steps it takes to go from the play area inside to the play area outside. Count the objects that are in the room that are red, or blue, or green. Very young children are not going to read clocks and watches, but you can help them gain a sense of time by pointing out how long some things take. We'll have snacks when the timer goes off in five minutes, or we'll clean up for ten minutes. Set a timer and go outside and play when it rings if all the toys are put away. Calendar. Count how many days in the month have passed so far. Or count how many days until the next person's birthday or a holiday. Do a regular shape walk with the children, either inside or outside. Take your cell phone or camera with you and record what the children see. Later, you can have them describe the pictures, write those words down, and print a book of your adventures, or make a bulletin board. This is great for pre-reading. You can even share with parents who have email addresses or put them up on your website. Keep track of the children's heights. You can measure every six months or so and point out how much children have grown. Weighing children is not a good idea. Sometimes cook with the children so that they are making snacks. It's fun. They can take turns, and they'll see how often we measure in the real world. During reading time, put pillows on the carpet or use carpet samples so that children will sit each in one spot. This is one-to-one -one correspondence. 
If you keep the books that you've read in a given day or week in a basket or on a shelf, you can have the children vote on the books they liked and make a chart to show which were their favorites. Anytime you can count, sort, or match your building math concepts without having a formal math lesson. Be sure to highlight what's new in your math center when children join you in the morning. Math is everywhere in your life and in your routines. As you go through your day, think about how math impacts it and find new ways to incorporate that into your work with children.